here for some people to get in the chat here and get alerted and everything. Um, let's call this one a disturbance in the force. I can sense that there are things going on behind closed doors now and uh, heads are starting to roll. If uh, you've been paying attention to the news, I think you've seen uh, a little uh, betrayal going on over in Russia and uh, tension is tightening up there and that's uh, another stage of this of this unfolding story here and uh, I just needed to uh, say that I have found uh, something miraculous here through this adventure that I'm going through um, the the uh, how do I put this oh hi finally some people are here let me just kind of start over again now for the people that are here um, I just kind of wanted to say you know that uh, things are changing now we can see the betrayal that's going on over in Russia heads are rolling now in the background there are arrests being made um, things are coming down they're going to try to let's say replace a leader uh, that uh, falls down it's gonna have enough gaff you know what I'm saying and uh, they'll take out the twosome and try to give you newsome so watch out for their plans here they're gonna try to pull something off things are getting pretty hairy now um, I can just tell you from what I'm going through now and what I've seen in people and in society has taught me a lot of lessons now that I've been out here uh, you know homeless for a little bit now but still surviving pardon the car in the background here I'm trying to just squeeze in a quickie here hi folks in the chat I'm doing fine I'm doing a lot better thanks to my friends and that's something I wanted to talk about on this stream is friendship and family and how how it's important and you find out who your true friends and your true family are when the going gets tough, right? So I've been blessed that I've had some good friends throughout the course of my life that have uh, checked in on me and helped me and have blessed me. And uh, I'm doing a lot better right now. I'm in a better position and uh, I can move forward a little bit now and just taking steps, little baby steps the longest, best way out, but it's the only way for right now. Anyways. Um, the importance of friendship and um, and your family because something happened to me God gave me a sign and it was a, a literal sign that you hold see uh, I'm not one to go begging for change and stuff I usually go to like the free food halls or you know grab you know, there's a uh, there's food around a, a town to be found but uh, I found this sign and it was the three words I was thinking of using so there was a sign already prepped from somebody previous to me. I used the sign for a day and um, I felt weird about it at first, but then God reminded me, think of all the people that help you today, Brian, how blessed they will be for helping you. So you need to get out there and hold this sign up. And I'm like, okay, so I took the sign, a literal sign that says, um, anything helps, you know, homeless, anything helps, thank you. The exact three phrases I wanted to put on a sign for myself was already pre-done. So, anyways, there was a lesson to be learned with this sign because I held it up for a while and you start to see a different side of society and you start to see good people come out of the woodwork. And most of the people that donated that day were good Christian people. Um, I noticed that. Um, I'm not going to cut on the other side or mention, you know, any, you know, characteristics or stuff like that. But I did notice a, a certain type of people are still out there in our society. Some good old boys, some good down home, uh, God fearing Christians that are willing to help another Christian who's down and out. So that was a very valuable lesson I learned with that sign. Um, I also had some friends come into my life and help and donate and, and bring me supplies to make my lifestyle a little easier because I got a shattered hip, it's not easy. And uh, I got my cane back, I got stuff so I can be mobile. Um, I'm doing a lot better position thanks to my friends and my family. Um, I got to see my son today, He's he's been busy in his teenage life, he's turning into a man now, he's about to turn 18 so he's doing his life thing and uh, 
I'm really proud of this kid. He came and checked in on his dad, made sure his dad was okay and everything. So he's a good son, and uh, I've got good mother and and uh, uh, another son too. But it it just comes to you know it comes to the surface. The cream rises to the crop, and you get to see who your real friends are and your true family is, and people who are in your life that are still willing to help. So. For all those people that are out there that are in the same kind of situation that I'm in, there's there's still hope, there's still help. There's people out there, you just gotta know how to reach out to them and there's still God-fearing Christians out there that'll lend a hand to a person in a, in a, in a bind. So I wanted to thank everybody for that and let you know that uh, I, haven't, I haven't done a stream in a little while, I'm kind of trying to lay low. If you've been watching the instruments, I can't even report on what's going on with the instruments. Let's just say the the twenty first the twenty first was the day I was concerned about, and that's the day of deleted data. We can't access the data from the twenty first. What happens? It gets here three days later. What's twenty one plus three? The twenty fourth. I wanted to warn you guys yesterday about today. Watch out for your magnetic field or you know uh, going weak. I found a way to uh, access the proper Schumann again, so when I come back with a real report, we'll look at a real Schumann reading, an updated one. Um, I got some other good news. Uh, I got some other uh, amazing videos that have been captured of um, some phenomenon going on around the, <clears throat> around the planet right now. And uh, another thing I noticed is uh, fighter jets. In my area, there are a fighter jet cruising up above the clouds this the roar of a fighter jet every five minutes every 10 minutes i can hear some kind of fighter jet going over and circling back or whatever so their air defenses are up you know their fighter jets are pr cruising the skies now patrolling the skies right now and the skies over me let's just say are uh, <laughs> a little scary looking these clouds uh, are your not your normal type cloud, and uh, it's just been just been wacky weather. So you guys gotta remember to stay on your toes. And what comes off the sun affects the earth about three days later. Okay, so if uh, I can't show you one of the instruments right now, you go over to the seed satellite and and look it up yourself real quick, and. Um, there hasn't been much earthquake activity, thankfully, but uh, there has been a lot of uh, uh, a lot of spiritual stuff going on, and uh, I sense there has been a change in the spiritual realm, a disturbance in the force kind of type scenario, and uh, it all happened because of what's happening to me and the, these friends that are coming out of the woodwork and. Um, and uh, people that I've interacted with. Uh, there was a lady who saw my sign. I was pulled it down and I was leaving. And she comes over, are you the one that was holding up the sign? And I said, yeah. She goes, come on in. And she got me some food, a monster. Um, she saw I was limping. She goes, do you need Advil or something? So she bought me a bottle of Advil. And um, her name was Mary. I introduced myself. I said, hi, I'm Brian. And she says, I'm Mary. What a beautiful name, huh? <laughs> So Mary ends up buying me lunch and Advil and, and a monster energy drink that I needed at the time. And I showed her that video of Jesus over the clouds and blew her away. Mary is still tripping about what she witnessed because I showed her that video on my phone and gave her a thank you. As that, that's my gift back to her. She's like, I go, I could be making millions of dollars with this. And she goes, well, why aren't you? I said, I got to give it away for free. You know, I can't, I can't charge millions of dollars to hide the truth, you know? So, anyways, uh, thanks to Mary and people that, you know, come out of the woodworks. Oh, I forgot to bring the card. There was a lady that got me in and out and a strawberry shake. She went and got um, some, a package of candies, like little butterscotches, and a card. And a card said something... And, you know, in hard times, don't give up, you know, they might take as long as they take, but you'll find there's friends along the way that help uh, ease the pain and laughter, something along those lines. And I thought, wow, what a beautiful uh, card, what a beautiful gesture. 
for this lady to go out of her way. She saw that sign. She went into the store. She went to in and out and ordered a, a meal for me. Went over to the different store, picked out a card from that store, and probably got some candy at it, and then came and drove by and gave me this nice meal. And it was, it was so needed at that time. And I still have the card hanging up in my tent. It's like right next to my pillow, and I read it every night. She wrote some scriptures, too, on the inside. Of all things, she wrote uh, John 10, 13, I think. And uh, she wrote a couple of good scriptures in there, so I embrace that card. It's so cool that uh, people have, there are still good-natured people out there that uh, that will go above and beyond to help somebody else. So I just kind of want to give you guys a good report, a little report of some hope you know and just um you know learn learn like i am you know you find your friends or the the ones that'll be there for you when you're down or the type of friend that you know got your back in a fight or you oh, got a, you got type of friends that just you know hide and run away you know but it's just a good lessons being learned out here on the on the street and i want to let you guys know everything's going fine staying positive um even though the skies are looking pretty scary right now. If you guys could see what's happening over my place right now, there's a reason why there's fighter jets flying over me every five minutes. The sky is getting very full and very scary looking. And uh, let's just say there's a lot of entities that are now here. And they're, uh, they're, they're just inches away. So you guys need to watch your skies. <laughs> and uh, watch what's going on in the news. They're going to be trying to uh, take out, you know, um, Sloppy Joe here and uh, try to replace that. So just a little heads up. I see ponds being moved. I see betrayals being happening in the world events. So uh, watch out. They're starting to make moves and the stuff is going down. So keep your head on a swivel, keep your friends close, and uh, keep informed and watch those instruments. I'll try to come back with a real report here a little uh, a little later, and we'll show you some instrumentation. I'll, I'm, I might show you something. It's a, it's a little bit too much, but we'll, we'll just stick with the solar reports. Anyways, that's uh, it for now. I gotta go. Love you all. Thank you for uh, stopping in and just spread the word around. I'll be at Marfugel sometimes. I'm alive and thriving and doing okay. Love y'all, gotta go, bye. Love you.